So, a little bit of background about Akihito. Born on the 23rd of December 1933, he was one of seven children. He ended up marrying a commoner, Michiko Shoda, and by doing so he actually broke a 1500 year old Japanese tradition. They had three children together, two sons, Naruhito and Fumihito, and one daughter, Sayako Kuroda. Now, Sayako Kuroda actually ended up relinquishing her royal status by marrying a commoner, something that clearly runs in the family. The Japanese chrysanthemum throne is actually the oldest hereditary monarchy in the world, being over 2,600 years old. Emperor Akihito is the 125th Emperor of Japan, a direct descendant of the first Emperor of Japan himself. Now, officially, Akihito is the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people, and this basically means he acts as a goodwill ambassador for Japan. So an example of this was in 2011, when the earthquake and tsunami which struck Japan resulted in the Fukushima nuclear accident. Following this, Akihito gave a televised comforting speech for the nation. So unfortunately, Akihito's health has been declining quite rapidly over the past few years. So in December 2010, he admitted to having hearing problems. Then in November 2011, he was hospitalized after suffering from a fever and bronchitis. Next, in February 2012, he underwent coronary artery bypass surgery. And then finally in 2016, he actually gave a televised speech indicating that because of his decline in health, he might not be able to fulfill his duties to the best of his ability any further. Now, this was basically an indication that Akihito meant to step down from the throne and pass the reins on to his son. Now, unfortunately, in Japanese law, an emperor must first pass away before his son can ascend to the throne. But Akihito being Akihito and one to break traditions, a bill was actually written and passed to allow him to abdicate from the throne and for his son to ascend. So, providing everything goes along to plan, Akihito will be abdicating from the throne on the 30th of April this year. So on Wednesday the 2nd of January this year, Akihito actually gave his final New Year's speech. I was fortunate enough to be in Tokyo at the time, so I've got some footage of it by here. Now, when we looked at the website for the event of his New Year's speech, it said it could take over an hour to reach the main gate of the Imperial Palace. Which is totally reasonable, we expected that. Um, so I think it speaks volumes about how adored Emperor Akihito actually is when you look at the final turnout, which was over 154,000 people, which resulted in a queue time in excess of five hours. We were queuing for almost six in total. Now, although I probably would have preferred to spend that time looking at Pokemon and eating ramen, it was totally worth the experience. Now, Akihito actually was supposed to give five appearances during this event, but he had to up it to seven because there was such a large turnout. So he's clearly had an incredible impact on Japanese culture and society over the past 30 years, and the Japanese people will definitely miss him. Now, when Akihito abdicates his title, will be named after the period which he has reigned in. So we will go from Emperor Akihito to Emperor Heisei. And his son Naruhito will take over as Emperor. And the era will be given a new name. But this has yet to be announced. But anyway, that's all for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.